Well, this is where it all started. Leduc number no. one, back in 1947. And it really changed the history of this province. And over the next few minutes, we'll be talking to some of the movers and shakers in the oil and gas sector about the past, the present, and the future of Alberta's energy industry. We all see what's on the surface helping drive Alberta's economy with the vibrant agriculture industry, but what's flowing below the surface and fueling our economy? Well, Leduc number no. one was the discovery of oil in Alberta, and it was uh, just south of what we know as the town of Devon today. Uh, it was a wonderful discovery by Imperial Oil, who kept at it and kept at it over the years and drilled piles of dry holes. In fact, the tool pusher's name was a followed by them a dry hole hunter because he drilled so many dry holes and uh, finally they hit the, the uh, mother of all oil fields I guess and that started the Alberta oil boom and it's still going to this day so it's been very very important to this province and to this country. The oil and gas industry is a very important aspect of Alberta's economy as millions of dollars flows into this province because of the oil patch. At oil at $100 a barrel, if, if uh, we were sending that money to uh, Jamaica or to Africa or somewhere else, there would be a huge uh, trade deficit in the world to provide the gasoline and oil and petrochemical products that we have in this province. And instead, the world is sending that money to us. It's absolutely one of the major drivers. I mean, that's, that's what employs people. Uh, that's, that's what supports our, our government revenue. That's what... Uh, supports our standard of living in, in, in Alberta here. I mean, when Leduc came in, uh, my dad and I drove out to the site, and, and I can remember all the old cars parked there and all the dignitaries were out there watching this oil well blow a little bit wild, and then they got it tamed down and got the flare going, and we were pumping oil, let, let, letting oil flow into the tank. and Nobody knew what it was going to be. Nobody knew the potential of it, but it's developed over the years. I mean, after Leduc came red water, and, Winterburn and a number of fields, Golden Spike south of Spruce Grove around Edmonton and then it's just kind of gone in concentric circles all throughout the province down the foothills. Now we're up in Fort McMurray and you know it's uh, we're so lucky in this province, so fortunate. The oil patch has injected billions of dollars into Alberta's economy and provided thousands of jobs in the energy sector. It makes a, a tremendous difference in our standard of living, our employment numbers are better than anywhere else in Canada. Uh, the oil business, the nature of it, takes, uh, takes people to make it work and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so important to us. Alberta entrepreneur Jack Donald is one great example of making the most of his opportunities in the energy sector. He took a raw, viable material and with it created a customer-friendly service industry and turned it into a lucrative business. When I was a young guy in, in high school and right after high school, I. Uh, my ambition was to own a service station and have my own business. So, I guess as we moved along, uh, I got out of high school, had several different jobs in different businesses, but kept coming back to this gasoline and service station business because I enjoyed it so much. It, it was always a challenge. Uh, it's easy to keep track of what you sell every month, and uh, you can, if you do better every month than you did the month before, uh, you're probably going to be successful at it at the end of the day. <laughs> Alberta's oil patch has come a long way, but the question is, where is it headed in the future? Well, the whole industry continues to evolve, and I don't think we're finished yet. I think there's more coming. To I think the operative word is change, and it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to change a lot, and it's hard to tell which way the changes are going to go. So I think we can do a better job. I don't think the costs, if it's done properly and practically, I, I think the costs are, are, are possible. I think we can live with them particularly when oil is high. And yeah, gasoline might go up two or three cents to, because of environmental costs. But if the regulations are there, then everyone has to follow the regulations. And at the end of the day, the, the competitiveness between oil companies is balanced and, and no one's the worse off. So it's a reasonable request to say, can we do a better job? And I think we can. We know we're going to cleaner fuels. We know we're going to, uh, to greater conservation. We need to support our customers in that and find ways that we can serve them uh, all that much better as, 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 as we make the changes that we absolutely need to make. These days, everybody has to have a, 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 an additional business with, with their site, a convenience store, or a food store, you know, and that helps us get our, get our costs down. It helps us uh, offer our customers a, a much wider range of, of services and, and products that they need. 
Leduc number no. one stopped producing in 1974, but the energy sector in this province continues to drive our economy and continue to produce. Hopefully over the last few minutes, we've given you some insight into the past, the present, and the future of Alberta's oil and gas industry. I'm Al Riddell. Thanks for watching.